Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be talking about how you can add low poly grass, flowers and tree leaves to your scenes. So this is a nice simple technique and I'm finishing off the bridge over the river scene. You can find a link to the playlist in the description as well as lots of courses on hand painting techniques. One thing that you'll find really helpful if you have the image as planes add-on, so edit, preferences, add-ons, and then type in image, import images as planes. Make sure that's ticked and then close this down. Now if I shift right click to move my cursor to a nice position, shift A to add, I have under image, I have image as planes. Tick that, find your texture. Remember you can press this button here to actually see your textures. And you can download my grass pack from Gumroad, links in the description. So I'll select that, import image as planes. So it should come in like this. If it doesn't, don't panic, it's just the add-on being a bit glitchy. If it doesn't, you'll need to add a plane. And this is the texture that it sets up for us. If I press Control spacebar over this, we can see it full size. And the main thing you need is the alpha into the alpha channel on the principled BSDF, which is fairly new. So that uses the alpha channel of the texture as the transparency. If you're using 2.79 or anything like that, I'll put a link in the description to how the textures should be set up for that. One thing you will need to also do is press N on your keyboard to get the side panel up. And under options, make sure the blend mode is alpha blend and shadow mode opaque. You can change these. Alpha clipped is actually a bit cheaper, but in this case, it makes very little difference. If I press N to get rid of the toolbar and control spacebar, to get back to full screen mode. So lastly, what we need to do is move our UVs into position. So let's go to the UV editing workspace for that. I'm going to scroll across my top bar with the middle mouse button and go to look dev mode. And then we can see our plane. And now it's all selected. So let's zoom out of this slightly and you can see there are my UVs just there. If I press A to select them all and scale down and move this into position. So I'll scale it in the X and scale it in the Y and just move it up. Of course, we've only got X and Y because it's two dimensional. I'm gonna grab these top ones and just move them down. And you can see the effect it's having over here in my viewport. So let's go back into edit mode, scale this down and just move that into position. A good location is around where areas meet, so rocks and around the wood. That breaks up the harsh lines. What you might want to do now is into edit mode and maybe right click subdivide into vertex mode with one and then just move these around very slightly. Not too much, you don't want to distort your image too much, but just give it a bit of variation. That way when you come around to the side it's not completely flat, you've got some leaves and things there. Now back into object mode and shift D or alt D if you want link duplicates. That means you've changed one and everything will change. I'll do Shift D in case I want to adjust it slightly. Rotate in the Z and rotate it slightly. You could even scale it up slightly, maybe in the Z to make some of them again more varied and just move it around into position. That way, if I click away, we've got some nice grassy textures in there. Now, if I want a different one, let's click on one of these again. Shift D to duplicate and I'll press Shift Z so it doesn't move in the Z axis and I'll move it next to the wood here, scale it down slightly this time. And let's go into edit mode, select all my vertices, and there they are over here, so let's select them all again, and perhaps go to a different one like this. Just watch out that you don't touch your other UVs, and you encompass the whole picture. So I'll select these ones, and grab them in the X. I can hold down Shift if I want small increments, somewhere around there. Select these ones, grab the Y and hold down Shift. And that's great. And there I've got a nice piece of grass. So a nice quick one there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Sorry it's taken me so long to get round to the last episode. Do let me know how you get on. You could join the Discord server and chat to me there. And you can show off your work. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.